Good morning, my loves. How are we doing? And welcome back to Galway in Ireland. Today, we're going to be doing a two and a half hour food tour all around Galway, and I can't wait. I arrived here yesterday and I really want to have a proper like taste of the local cuisine, standout dishes and just have a little walk around the city. I haven't even eaten breakfast yet. I'm preparing myself because I have a feeling it's going to be a lot of food. But yeah, super walkable and there's a lovely chill in the air. So autumn is coming and I can't wait. Oh, it feels good. All right, next time you see me, we're going to eat the first item. <laughs> Starting with a coffee to get things going from Little Lane Coffee Company. This is the baked apple with honeysuckle flavour. The team specialise in Irish specialty coffee roasters only and it's well worth a visit. Next up, chocolates from Truffle, a French chocolate shop. And look at this raspberry croissant from their sister restaurant, a patisserie called Le Petit Delice next door. Okay, we have croissants for the first stop and we've got a full on one, look at this. So I know this is obviously a French pastry, but it's made with Irish butter and also some homegrown berries from the pastries gardens. And it's humongous and look at the vibrancy. <laughs> They've got the berries inside. Mm. Fruity, creamy, buttery, flaky. That's what you want to start your day with. Lunch time in a traditional Irish pub in the centre of Galway City. This is also my first oyster of the trip and my first time having it with buttermilk. Wow. My first beer in Ireland. That's very easy to drink. So we've got soda bread, oyster, mussels, and then some type of like meatball. We have amazing buttermilk. It tasted nutty and creamy with added creaminess from the buttermilk and the saltiness of the oysters. I could easily have polished off a dozen, but time for the next stop. The rain couldn't stop us from visiting the farmer's market and to the bean room for pea and potato curry madras with yogurt. It's currently raining, but the spirits are still very high. That plate of food was delicious. I love oysters, but I've never had it with buttermilk before, and it was so good. It was just a delightful plate. Just went to the farmer's market, and it's raining a bit. Got my brolly ready, and then we are now off to the next stop. This will be one of two visits to Reuben, but we quickly stopped off here for a bowl of comforting white fish and salmon seafood chowder with soda bread. Exactly what was needed for the rainy day. And I left with a smile. But wait, there's more! We enjoy cheese, charcuterie and Irish whiskey tasting from McCambridge's. It's been here for 125 years and sells around 49 different distillers. Sheena also whipped up some sushi from Wa Sushi to a Japanese small business in Galway. And before we know it, it was time for dessert. <laughs> Everyone's been talking about Murphy's all day and our last stop of the day is to try ice cream. I've heard it's stingle gin and chocolate whiskey and butterscotch. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't wait. This amazing food haul is now sadly coming to an end. But oh my gosh, when you're in Galway and you love food, you must, must, must. Like, number one thing, you must enjoy this food haul. It's so informative, so engaging. Sheena is wonderful. And I'm going to see if I can introduce you to her now. But she's so amazing, knows all the great spots. And yeah, I just, I'm like leaving very, very full, very, very happy and full of ice cream. <laughs> so let me try to show you her now. Hi, everyone. I'm Sheena uh, from Galway Food Tours. I'm bringing people around to eat and drink around the city so it's a great job I can't complain people should come and visit Galway because it's just such an interactive city there's great music there's great scope uh, there's great theater there's great food of course and we're celebrating the oyster festival the return of the beautiful oysters that we have on our sea line and uh, we want to show that to the world so come and join us oh I'm just so like happy <laughs> warm and also full of whiskey but uh, perfect timing because now I'm over to the pier for the world oyster championship so they're gonna be some shucking competitions it's gonna be music it's gonna be some champagne some stout some oysters so I'm gonna head on over there now it's a short walk from here so come and enjoy Galway if you love oysters I honestly cannot recommend you to make a whole trip out of this event alone and explore Galway for its culture scenery and food while you're here because we're only just getting started baby and can you imagine we're only on day one okay on to the next stop 
My ticket, I've been given this, so I get a glass of bubbles, half a dozen oysters and some food to enjoy. Just collecting my six oysters here. Thank you so much, thank you. Here in front of me, I have six of the native wild oysters. It comes with your ticket price, so you get six of them as well. You can season it however you want, or you can buy six of them for 15 euro as well. So I think that's an absolute steal, but they are looking so good. So fresh, I can't wait to tuck it. Listen, I take my love for oysters very seriously to the point where I will travel all around the world to try them and compare them. I've always wanted to visit Ireland, Galway in particular, for their World Oyster Championship. It's known as one of the best in the world, and just as you'd expect, the atmosphere was electric. There's nothing quite like Irish hospitality, and now that I'm experiencing it for myself, the friendly crowds, the laughter, the Guinness on tap, the incredible live music, the banter, it was pouring it down outside, but I couldn't care less because I'm so happy. just popped out for a little bit but I was just there for the three heats of the world oyster championship and as the kids would say the vibes were immaculate there was so much support such a buzz in the air so much energy and it was unreal it was so much fun just like cheering of everyone and everyone was so supportive of one another it was such a good 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 energy in there so my name is Maria Moynihan Lee and I run Milestone Inventive and we produce the Galway International Oyster and Seafood Festival it has been running for 70 years which is quite incredible, but it is something that has become an institution in Galway, what they call a bucket list festival for, um, uh, for people coming from overseas, and it's truly iconic. Everybody comes for something different. So many people here are here for the food, for the seafood, for the oysters in particular, because the Galway native oyster, or flat oyster as it's known, is unique to these waters and it's a, a very distinct taste compared to any other oyster that you can you can possibly taste it's a real delicacy so that's probably the main reason why people come to this festival but for others it's about the competitions for others it's just about the crack for some of it's about the guinness and uh, for many it's it's a really good excuse to do something different and obviously come to Galway. Hi, my name is Joanne Murphy and uh, I am an international sports announcer and presenter and I was the host of the 69th Galway International Oyster and Seafood Festival here in Galway today. So I think if anybody is joining us here at the uh, International uh, Oyster and Seafood Festival, there are guaranteed so much fun. We talk about the crack, it's the cule here at the festival, so the crack being fun and the cule being the music. You can hear the music in the background here. The festival floor is absolutely thumping with people dancing to this afternoon's band. They can just expect a really friendly and fun environment and uh, lots of traditional Irish aspects as well with traditional music across the two days here. And so next year, the Galway International Oyster and Seafood Festival celebrates 70 years. What an incredible milestone. It is the longest running festival of its kind in the world. And we can't wait to see you there. Oh my gosh, that was so, so, so much fun. Honestly, the energy was off the charts. Like everyone is just so happy, so supportive of one another. But right now I am outside for a seafood dinner. So yeah, I'm gonna go and make myself some warm and have some yummy, yummy seafood after all of those oysters. But let's see what's on the menu. Let's go, I'm excited. Listen, I have an insatiable appetite when it comes to oysters because I found room for six more. I've got to try them all, okay? Just got three native oysters for nine years. Right? Look at how big these are. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, my next stop is going to be Sunny Malloy's, which is an Irish whiskey bar, but let's see if they're still serving their oysters. It started to rain and just as it did, I walked past an Irish whiskey shop, so it would have been rude not to visit. I'm currently living my best life. I've now got my whiskey. I've never tried this one before, so I'm very excited. Oh my gosh, that is so unique. It is very delicate, it's spice, and you've got those like fruity flavors as well. It's unlike anything I've ever tried before, and it's bitter at the end, at the back of your throat. Unfortunately, they've run out of oysters today, so I couldn't have the oysters here. I'm in an Irish bar. I have to try some Irish whiskey. Like, anyway, cheers, and then on to the next stop. 
I know you're thinking, surely this is the end of the food tour? Well, you're wrong. <laughs> There's so much more great food on offer, and this venue is one of them. Let's have some bread. So we've got some homemade brown soda bread, and also this one here was made today, and the white bread is with blue cheese and chives. You know how much I love blue cheese, and obviously, generous bit of Irish butter but I love blue cheese so can't wait to tuck into that. These oysters are incredible they're so creamy so fresh so plump and I actually think they might be one of the best ones I've had on this trip so far it is delicious it's a really really lovely romantic spot as well the music's great the staff are attentive and I'm just loving it here seafood bar Cowens it's really really lovely the mains have arrived and this is the fish and chips the fish is haddock especially after an oyster soup west of all absolutely have to have some fish and chips but oh my gosh look at the size of this this is my finger and this is the size of the haddock huge 